Hello, my name is Erin and I'm making this video because I've cured my emetophobia and I'm thriving and I believe that you can do that too. I am currently living in Japan. I teach English um, as an assistant language teacher in elementary and junior high schools and I kind of live, okay, I really live in the what they call the inaka or the countryside. So nobody here speaks English. Um, unless, you know, they are born in an English-speaking country or another foreign country. So when I first arrived, I had been struggling with emetophobia for most of my life, I think since I was about five. Um, this, I'm not going to really go into detail because I think it's not as relevant, but uh, let's just briefly say that I had a sick mother and I did what all children do. I tried to understand what was wrong with her and I simplified it down to vomiting and that just you know I built this belief system up in my head that vomiting was what was wrong with my mother and what was wrong with my mother was the worst thing in the world because you know when you're a kid and your mom is sick that is just it's pretty hard um even when I was in high school you know I um I did eat a lot I was very skinny I was very nervous all the time. I had panic attacks that basically they they just interfered with my class schedules and eventually with any work that I did. But I still managed, you know, I started taking medicine and I still managed to get here, Japan, which it's a pretty big step, but I was still, I had told myself this lie that I think, you know, if you are struggling with emetophobia, you might be familiar with it. This, this just overpowering, consistent belief that emetophobia is too big of a mountain, I can't climb it, I'm going to be living with it for the rest of my life. And I think that living with that every day, you know, even your good days, it's there. And even when you're not having a panic attack, you live with this feeling that, oh, I'm going to have a panic attack eventually. It's very exhausting. So I eventually, you know, I started getting therapy over Skype with um, an international therapist group in Tokyo. And my therapist at the time told me, <coughs> sorry, she told me that um, she had researched emetophobia and had found this program. This is mirrored, I apologize. This program, um, and I had heard about it before, but only briefly in passing, you know, I hadn't put much thought into it. She said, oh, there are these certified therapists who will walk you through the book. I think you should give it a shot. And I was skeptical because I had been living with emetophobia my entire life. And I was like, well, no self-help book is going to help me get over this huge mountain that I'm living with for the rest of my life. Puh. But I guess I'll try it. So I contacted Fiona, who was my therapist for the duration of my Bright program experience. And she was just so logical and to the point and energetic about the whole thing that I kind of, I, a lot of my skepticism was skepticism was just blown away. I still had it, obviously. You can find actually in the book when I read, especially like the first couple of chapters, my first read through, I wrote a lot of sarcastic little notes. It was really nitpicking because perfectionism was and still is something that I struggled with. But after that, I started really getting into, I started um, really focusing on the exercises and I would make flashcards um, like for unhelpful thinking styles. And if I caught myself using one of those unhelpful thinking styles, I would check the flashcards. Oh, that's what this is. What do I do with it? Okay. Um, I put post-it notes up. Um, Fiona helped me design some message boards that I could read to myself every morning. I think the thing about this program is it's teaching you, you're building muscles. It's like a workout, a workout program for your, for your mind. Um, and you have to be consistent and you have to really, if, if you, you know, you have to really put effort into it. You get what you put into it, I think, um, is the main point. And it's overall, it's taught me that emetophobia isn't something that just happens to me. It's something that I created. It's, I just built this belief system up over the years of my life. And that's why it seems so big, because I literally created it and grew up with it. 
but it's only as big as the time you put into it is. So if you spend an equal amount of time that's needed to break down a belief system and build a new one, I think you'll find that this program that helps you do that can really change your life. I mean, I, I am, I feel like I'm almost a different person in ways. I, not only is my amatophobia not something that controls my life anymore, but I have more confidence in pretty much everything I do. My self-esteem has gone up, my, my sense of body image, and how I, even how I treat my relationships. And this, I feel like it's different for everyone. So don't, don't be like, oh no, I don't want to like change who I am. But you know, it, it really, it helps you thrive, not just in terms of emetophobia in your life, but in other problems that you had. Maybe you are having some fears of flying, or maybe you're just having some problems with um, confidence issues in building relationships. It's one of those things where if you have emetophobia, it's a, yeah, it, I'm rambling a bit, but basically this program has changed my life. I am living abroad in a different country. This is what I've been wanting to do since I was 15, 15, yeah, I'm 23 now, so I guess not that much time, but to me it seems like a lot. And if it's something that's stopping you from following your following your dreams or, you know, um, just achieving what you've been wanting to do your whole life, then emetophobia is something you should erase from your life. And this program, Thrive, will help you do that. There's so much study and, you know, just interactive effort put into it by the counselors and by Rob himself that I think anyone who decides to start it is already beginning to change their emetophobia and the effect it has in their life. So ultimately, long story short, TLDR, please, if you are struggling with emetophobia, if it's controlling your life, please don't continue to live with this miserable and unnecessary fear. Please take steps, um, cure your emetophobia and have a better life for yourself. You deserve it. And I know it doesn't mean much, but I'm over here in a really backwater Japanese prefecture. It's beautiful though. I'm reading for you in two different languages because I'm studying two different languages, but I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm being like, go you, you can do it because I did it and I feel fantastic. I mean, even right now, I'm a bit sick myself. Now, not with any stomach bug, but like any sickness used to freak me out. I, I'm sick and I'm totally like, I'm still here chatting you up, um, hoping that you feel better soon, hoping that you will change and get rid of this absolutely horrible fear that not enough people talk about and this is a place where you can discuss it. So please don't think that you're alone or that you are without hope because you can beat this, you can thrive and you can live the life that you really want to live. So good luck.